Boy, I, I thought I knew what avocado toast was. That was, I was wrong. Hi honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy and I'm the go-to nutritionist for plant-based weight loss and the creator of the Slim on Starch program where our clients lose anywhere from the last five pounds to up to 70 pounds. Now, today I'm talking about my old home of Australia. But before I do that, make sure that you hit subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can be a healthy honey and be notified every time a new video comes up, which is every Wednesday and Saturday, or as we say, Catterday. In this video, you are going to learn all of the weird little differences in food between America and Australia. So if you didn't know, I spent a year of my life in Australia. I just picked up and moved and went there. And when I was there, I was a nutritionist and I was also a school teacher. And because I am a nutritionist, I have a little neck for noticing all those tiny little differences between food, and I'm very excited to share those with you today. Before we get started, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know if you are from Australia or America, or if you're from neither of them, let me know too. Germany, the UK, Canada, Mars, just let me know. Food terminology, there's a lot of them. Breakfast in the US, that's brekkie in Australia. Candy in the US, those are lollies in Australia. French fries in the US, got yourself some hot chips. Sprinkles in the US, oh no, we got a way better name. Hundreds and thousands. Cotton candy, honey, it's fairy floss. Peppers, capsicums. Seltzer, mineral water. Cookie, bicky, short for biscuit. Zucchini, Courgette. Romaine lettuce, cost lettuce. Bright, lemonade. That one got me. And oatmeal, porridge. Avo toast. Boy, I, I thought I knew what avocado toast was. I was, I was wrong. Australia, I gotta hand it to you. You might be lacking when it comes to Wi-Fi, you may be overdoing it when it comes to the speeding tickets, but avocado toast, honey, you got it figured out. I mean, after seeing how avocado toast is done in Australia, I, I was like, am I even breathing correctly? Like nothing makes sense anymore. I was literally the meme of that lady. The way that I think about avocado toast in Australia is, you know when the guy has the trench coat and he's like, hey, you want some watches? Hey, you want some drugs? And there's like all the things on the inside of his trench coat. That is what avocado toast, or avo toast as the Aussies say, is like in Australia. You're like, hey, can I have some avo toast? And they're like, do you want hummus on it? Do you want a poached egg, pomegranate seeds, poppy seeds, hemp seeds, tomatoes, chickpeas? And you're like, uh, uh, do, chickpeas? And they're like, whole or smashed. And you're like, can you stop? I'm overwhelmed. There are less special diet foods in Australia, which I have an appreciation for. But in America, it's like, I saw cauliflower pretzels the other day. Cauliflower pretzels. You don't even see cauliflower in America anymore unless it's in the form of pizza crust, pasta, or pretzels. Whereas in Australia, they value real food. You can buy heads of cauliflower. You can buy oats. You can buy tomatoes, tomatoes. And of course, you can buy all of that in America, but in America, we are ODing the like paleo ice cream, vegan this, keto that. Like it's it's unbelievable. You name it, it exists. Honestly, like Sarah's day, you would have you would be living in the US. Oh my gosh, I want to see you come here and like guys, send this video to Sarah because Sarah, you would you would short circuit the amount of, cause I, I, I believe she eats like a paleo diet and she loves making like recipes of cool little things. Like though you, those exist. You don't have to make the recipe. You go to Whole Foods and it is like 
things that you didn't even know that you needed. She's so funny, I love her. Send this video to her. And people will say, because I eat a Whole Foods plant-based vegan diet, they'll be like, what did you do when you were in Australia? But I actually don't, I don't eat any of the like special foods. I just eat like potatoes, grapes, rice, sushi, sush, oats, porridge as you guys say. And if you're curious as to what it is that I actually eat or like what do you eat, I have a link in the down bar of my free vegan weight loss grocery list, so you can click that, and those are all the foods that I eat, but Australia had less of those special foods, and I, I honestly had an appreciation for that. Bringing it back to our roots, all natural, baby. You Aussies are all natural, and I love it. There is really no equivalent to Vegemite in the US. The most comparable thing that I can think of is Vegemite to Australia is like the PB&J to America. It's like the classic food. But the difference is that the PB&J in America, like you have it as a kid and then you sort of grow out of it. Whereas in Australia, you eat Vegemite on toast when you're little and you bring that to the grave. Vegemite is a lifestyle. Honestly, it's so funny. It's like when you go into the office at work, like at schools, I would go into their, the teacher break room and you know, you have like the salt, the pepper, the creamer for the coffee, the communal Vegemite, just in case you run out of your own personal Vegemite. It's a lifestyle. When I was a teacher in Australia, morning tea and afternoon tea were terms that I had never heard until I entered the school system. And it was actually around the time that I started working with my client, Beck, as well, because she's a teacher in Australia. And she would say like, this is, I had my morning tea and it would be like the pic a picture of an apple. And I'd be like, what? Which, shout out to Beck, by the way. She got down to her pre-pregnancy weight. Hot mama right there. But anyway, I digress. Just love you, Beck. Love all of you Australians. But yeah, she would say like, here's my morning tea, and it was a picture of food. And I was like, what is this sorcery? In the US, we just say snack time. Morning snack, afternoon snack. In Australia, they are high class. Snack time, that's child's play. These four-year-olds in Australia, they're having their morning tea and their afternoon tea. It's just a way for them to say snacks, not like they're actually sipping tea, but honey, it's a saying I can get behind. Australians don't mess around when it comes to brunch. Brunch is life. Brunch is what you do on the weekends. When I was in Australia, my friends on the weekends, it wouldn't be like, what are we doing this weekend? It would be, where are we going for brunch this weekend? When my mom came to visit me, she was like, I don't know how I'm gonna go back. Like, here's a picture of her living her best life, having avocado toast. Doesn't she look so cute in that photo? Love that woman. Make sure to share this video with somebody that you think would enjoy it. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. If you want me to do a part two, let me know and I will do that. I love you guys. Give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and I'll see you in my next video. Woo!